Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So this one is not gonna be a review, um, but it's gonna be sort of a free form uh, talk about uh, my, I guess, little Disney collecting obsession, a little collecting tick, um, and to kind of document that a little bit. So, and, maybe, and then maybe at the end of the video, we'll go on to something maybe a little bit more uh, cool, a little bit more interesting. Make a long story short, I am a Disneyland annual pass holder. Uh, I've been one for about seven years, ever since my daughter was about four years old. Um, and whenever we go there, and we go there a lot, because when you spend the sort of money that we spend on these annual passes, you really want to you know, get your money's worth. So when we go, uh, we often eat lunch at a restaurant called the Cafe Orleans. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's in New Orleans Square in Disneyland. And they used to have a, um, a kid's drink I think with a, like a pomegranate lemonade. And it always came with like this little Tinkerbell uh, attached to the straw. And so, you know, you could clip it and this clip can actually rotate. Okay, that's really cool. I can clip it to a shirt and it, can, it came clipped to a straw. And of course you can turn the light on and it's like green, you know, really, really cute. And so um, I just really you know, kind of thought this was really cool. And as a way of recording how often I went, uh, every time I go to Cafe Orleans, I would order one of these and I would keep them. And I would throw them in this bag over there <laughs> and um, I kind of forgot about it. So I finally decided to do an inventory um, because by the way, eventually they phased out these uh, little toys and they phased out the drinks, um, which is kind of sad in a way because I think it's another little example of Disney trying to cut costs in a way. Um, I don't really think they have any of these anymore. So, you know, there you have it. But they used to do these a lot. And whenever I would go there and buy drinks, I would always keep the ones um, that I have. And so this is the result of like seven years of this. Um, unfortunately, it's not an accurate count of every time I go to Cafe Orleans because again, uh, they recently discontinued this. So um, I am kind of a little hoarder at this point, I suppose. And so I'm gonna probably wind up throwing a lot of these away. But before I do, I wanted to make a like a little YouTube video just sort of showing um, you know how many of these I have so uh, hopefully you'll find it somewhat interesting so to make a long story short um, I counted and these are my Tinkerbell army and I have 26 Tinkerbells um, and the batteries you know work to varying extents some of them don't work at all uh, some of them, like this one, doesn't work at all, and then some of them, of course, um, are very dim, for instance. And some of them are really nice and bright, like this one, you know, doesn't work. Um, and this one, you know, is not quite as, not quite as uh, bright as the rest. So uh, this represents 26 visits to Cafe Orleans and 26 uh, drinks, each of which came with her. And one of the interesting things is over the year, you can see that the clear plastic uh, for uh, Tink actually can kind of discolor into this sort of, you know, yellowish brown color. And I'm not quite sure, you can see the battery in here, but I'm not quite sure the cause of that. I think you can technically change the batteries if you are so inclined, although it will not be the easiest thing to do. You have to like unscrew two screws here and here, and then um, obviously, you know, take it apart and change the batteries. Not really worthwhile, um, let's put it that way. And I I don't know, don't know why, um, for instance, some Tinkerbells would be yellow and others are not. Um, obviously age has something to do with it, um, but there are some that are quite old and obviously they haven't discolored at all. And so you do wonder, is discoloration an inevitable you know, process for these little you know, plastic toys? They're pretty you know, soft, or it doesn't have to do with the quality of the plastic. So as an example, or just to kind of, um, this, this one's wings fell off a little bit, but I have out of the 26, um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have uh, eight of them, uh, slightly more than uh, a third. 
um, that are all discolored. And then of course the rest look pretty pristine. Again, there doesn't appear to be any particular rhyme or reason to this. Um, I was thinking maybe if the maybe the batteries corroded, that might have seeped into the plastic and turned them this color. But I don't know. It doesn't seem to be the case. So in any case, before uh, getting rid of uh, a lot of these, um, I just wanted to sort of count them. So uh, count again: eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Yeah, 26 Tinkerbells. So there you have it. A vestige of Disney's past. If you can believe that they actually gave this to every person who ordered a kid's, uh, kids drink. That was pretty cool. Um, moving on, I also have a couple of these guys. Uh, these are, All of these are, are drinks, basically. They come with drinks. And this came when they were doing like a Star Wars celebration uh, in Tomorrowland. And uh, there were some special foods uh, that you could order, uh, you know, as well as drinks, of course. And they would come with this, I think, uh, in the drink itself to give it that glow. So um, I think it's pretty cool. You get like an actual mini Millennium Falcon. And then uh, in this case, you actually get a Death Star as well. It's kind of hard to show you, but yeah, there you go. So here's the Death Star. This is a nice one. So there you have it. I think one of them doesn't really work. These are ice cubes that are found at multiple uh, locations at the resort. Uh, the more famous, most uh, famous one that I feel is the Blue Bayou. Uh, if you order the right drink, they'll give that and then you can put this in the drink and then you wash it off and you can take it home as a souvenir. Um, these lights are bright, they cycle through and they last for a long, long time. Um, and they look really, really cool at the Blue Bayou because you know, if you've ever eaten there, you'll know that it's a very dim place. And so it really accentuates the glow from your drinks when this guy's in it. So there you go, quite a few there. This is, uh, God, I'm embarrassed because I forgot this guy's name. He's from the Princess of the Frog, you know? And so I got this actually at the uh, Tiana uh, sponsored dinner on the Disney cruise. And uh, you go there, eat twice, and then uh, each time I ordered this drink, I got this. So pretty neat. It's the Firefly. So this is actually pretty rare because um, I think you only can get it at the Disney Cruise, as far as I know. And then moving on, um, they used to have like a Tinkerbell for girls, and then they had like a Pirates of the Caribbean um, toy for like, say, the boys, you know, because like, a lot of boys may not like Tinkerbell. So uh, this is, of course, already batteried out. Let's try to see this one a little bit better. Oh my God, they're all batteried out. Crazy. Okay, good. This one actually battery is working. So this is what he looks like. All lit up. Nice. And how about this this guy here? Only one of the four uh, Pirates of the Caribbean's lights still work. Don't know what that says about that quality. But um, this one is pretty uncommon. Um, I must have gotten this in California, uh, Disney's California. Uh, adventure you can see it's supposed to glow all red but the battery is almost dead so it's barely any hint of red uh, this is obviously um, you know from cars lightning mcqueen i only got one of these and then finally i believe also from california adventure uh, is ariel's and look how big this is i mean it's pretty crazy i mean you know tinkerbell i thought was already pretty big but Holy cows, I mean, they have this, this Light of the Queen one. This, this, look at the size of this thing on the straw. This is the Pirates one. And here, of course, you have Ariel. Doesn't quite make sense that they make it green, but that's fine. This is a pretty good battery right here. Um, and you can see the discoloration uh, hit two of the Ariels, but the other two are pristine. And the discolored Ariels also have their lights on. Also have their lights on. Let me turn all of the lights on to see if there's any appreciable difference. So definitely you can tell that um, the ones without discoloration shine a little bit brighter and this one's a little bit weaker. I don't know what, if the color is, again, because of the, the battery kind of slowly dying. So there you have it. Wow, look at 
this thing. This is like jammed. It won't turn off. <laughs> Come on, baby. Are you gonna turn off for me? Okay, there you go. Finally turn off. Uh, so these guys can pretty easily be turned off. So, um, I don't know. I mean, I'll go through these and throw the ones that um, aren't working away. Dispose of them, I think, uh, in a electronically responsible fashion. And um, there you go. I mean, that's a lot of drinks, man. This is kind of bringing back the memories. A lot of drinks over a lot of years. I think I counted and I have like close to about 60 of these guys um, across multiple different types and stuff like that. So I'm gonna stop the hoarding, stop the pack ratting. I'm gonna throw away the, um, the ones that obviously I've seen better days. Okay, so I'm gonna put all of that aside. And I'm gonna focus a little bit on something else that's actually pretty cool, which is these poison apples. Um, it's really neat. Uh, I think Disney's been doing this for a couple years and they have many different versions. So it started off with like a red, um, a red poison apple. This is obviously a homage to Snow White and the, you know, the evil hag as, as she's you know, creating, right, the, the poison apple. So, um, this has become like quite a popular item. They have like popcorn, um, you know, I think popcorn buckets shaped like this. They have uh, ceramic cups, they have plastic cups, but this is uh, the, uh, the original. It's red and um, you're supposed to put it in a drink. So in that regard, this is very similar to these um, ice cubes right over here. Um, by the way, I actually have this little diamond version, which is pretty cool. Okay. <clears throat> so you put it in, and then there's actually three settings. There's the rapid blink, right over here. And then there's the slow blink. And then there's constant on. And believe you me, when you put it in a a drink, I mean, it looks really, really cool, especially for Halloween. These things tend to come out, I think, only during Halloween. And correct me if I'm wrong, but when it first uh, was released, um, this red one, I think, could only be ordered um, with drinks at the Blue Bayou, and I think you can get it if you um, go to the Mint Julep Bar, um, you know, outside the... Um, I don't want to call it, what is it the, it's not a sit-down restaurant, it's like a walk-up restaurant, you know, in New Orleans Square, like one of their cafeteria, you know, restaurants. So there's the mint julep bar in that area, and then if you, I think, buy a lemonade, uh, this comes with it. So um, I think I got two of those. Now, the thing about these, by the way, is um, it's impossible uh, to actually change the battery because, of course, you know, you don't want water getting in there, that would destroy it, and then the battery is deep here, there's no seam, there's no screw. So once you're out of batteries, um, you're sort of stuck. So you should, I guess, try to use these sparingly or for only special occasions, like maybe to record a YouTube video or something, because um, once they're gone, they're gone for good, and you need to get another one. So there you go. So both of these guys are probably at least um, maybe two years old, maybe a year old, I don't know. I think it's two years old. So there's, there's these two. And then they added another wrinkle a year later. I think it is two years because I think they added a new wrinkle every year. And um, last year, they, they gave us the green poison apple. Look at that, huh? Okay, pretty cool. And then we'll stop. Steady, and then stop. There we go. So, you know, exactly the same, but green. Uh, the green tint makes it really good. And um, I got two of these. How did I get... Oh, okay. One of my f one of my wife's friends. Okay, so, so basically, I, I told you how you get the red ones, right? The only way to get the green ones is um, you have to order, like, a drink at the Carthay Circle Lounge in Disney's California Adventure, and I believe it's like an uh, it's like an apple teeny, like you know a martini, but with the apple in it instead. And so if you order that, you know this is in the in the um, apple teeny. 
And uh, number one, I don't drink alcohol. Um, I kind of get ill from it. I don't have the enzyme to break down the ethanol. So it's not a very good, um, <coughs> not a very good scene when I drink alcohol. I just get you know, kind of ill and don't feel very good. So I don't really drink. Uh, and I hadn't, didn't have a chance, I think, to go to um, the Carthy Circle Lounge. So the Carthy Circle Lounge is a restaurant. It's a very, very fancy restaurant and really good food. It's one of the better restaurants in the entire Disneyland resorts. It's up there with Steakhouse 55 and the Napa Rose, for instance. And so um, I, um, so anyways, uh, in order for you to, to get this, you know, the Carthy Circle has a restaurant and also has actually a bar. Um, or like entertainment lounge, whatever you call it. And there you can order um, finger foods and you can order a lot of alcoholic drinks, all right? Um, so I've never been to that corner before. I've only gone to the Carthage Circle to eat uh, lunch or dinner or to get the world of color packages. And so the world of these alcoholic drinks are completely foreign to me because again, I can't, I can't drink alcohol, right? So um, when I discovered that this was Available, of course, I had to get it, but since I don't drink and I didn't have a chance to go to you know, California Adventure for a while, uh, I didn't quite know how I was going to do that uh, last Halloween. And one of my wife's friends, you know, who's really, really kind, um, she actually was going to be in the neighborhood, so I asked if she would do me a favor. And I think she might have gone with a friend. They each ordered a, um, uh, apple, uh apple teeny. I guess they call it a poison apple teeny or apple teeny. And so they each got one and then um, they just saved um, this little toy <laughs> for me. Uh, and I was very, very appreciative of that. So that's how I got the two um, green apples from that time. So that's the history. And again, uh, none of these can be replaced. So uh, this brings us to what just happened today. I saw this on the uh, DFAP Facebook page, which is a great page to be a member of. That have a, a lot of Disney fans, Disney enthusiasts who are going to the park, a lot of annual pass holders. And so if anything's going on at the park, um, that's the Facebook page, uh, the group, or that's the Facebook group that's going to um, have the you know, inside track on it. And I do use it for a lot of you know, cool informational uh, purposes. It's just a great resource if you're a Disney fan and you go to Disneyland a lot. So um, it was posted a while back that Carthay Circle now has a new twist uh, on this old uh, Apple Teeny story. And they've now uh, released this, which is a poison apple set. I mean, how cool is that? From the Carthay Circle Lounge, they all have a place that they can, uh, they can sit in. Uh, three or above, I believe. So the case is kind of falling apart. I'm gonna take it off now. Uh, and so essentially, you know, they've sort of released the following. So you know, the red and the green are sort of homage, right, to the past. Um, that's historical, of historical interest. The purple, is I believe the color for this year's uh, Halloween celebration, uh, the special foods and drinks that they release to celebrate Halloween. It's like a two months long, two month long celebration. And so, you know, like it was red, and then of course we have the green for the apple teeny, and this one is purple. I think in the Magic Kingdom, um, they're already rolling this out with certain drinks, but I haven't seen it in Disneyland proper yet. And as of this video, the only way to get this is to buy it as part of a, um, a poison apple set at the Carthay Circle Lounge, uh, Carthay Circle Lounge, okay? So if you uh, activate it, you can now more clearly see the purple. And then you press it again, you get, get slow here. This is a slow flash, and then one more press, and this is constantly on, so, uh, really cool. Uh, this is for this year only at the Disney parks. And then this is the special one. Um, this is a black uh, poison apple and you can only get this by ordering their uh, poison apple teeny or apple teeny. 
and it's uh, exclusive to Disneyland and exclusive to the Carthur Circle, um, Carthur Circle Lounge. And so when you do that, this is actually like white. Um, you can't have a, a black light, obviously, but this is white. And it kind of accentuates the black on the inside, right? And then here's hopefully a little, a little slower. There you go. And then all the way on. This is actually a very popular, um, I guess, I guess souvenir uh, so far. Um, I didn't know this, but you know, I actually got in line to get in. So I think you know the demand maybe was so high that people were going to the lounge just to get this. Um, or I guess maybe they just really like alcohol. alcohol. Um, but uh, very popular. I mean, when I was there today, I saw a couple uh, each with a apple teeny. I believe you can actually buy the apple teeny separately and you just get the black poison apple. Um, but uh, you can also do that and then spend a little bit extra money and get the set. Uh, now you may already have these two. I, mean, I obviously have two of each. Um, but as of right now, nobody in Southern California uh, for Disneyland actually has the purple version, which is pretty cool. And of course, the only way to get the black is to order the Apple Teeny at Cardi Circle Lounge. So um, I'm pretty, you know, pretty stoked about uh, getting them. I tested all of them out. Um, their batteries last for quite a long time, thank God, because again, you cannot easily replace them. So this is kind of um, my end story, starting off with the madness of collecting every single um, you know, straw holder when I went to Disneyland and Cafe Orleans and all the different versions that they've made. Uh, and you know, the, the, the Pirates and the Little Mermaid, the <laughs> Death Star and the Falcon and all of that uh, to sort of a more collectible uh, version of that, which is these uh, poisoned apples. Um, very, very nice. I mean, one, maybe one of these days, um, I feel like I should use them because if you don't use them eventually, as you know, uh, it's simply a matter of time before the little watch batteries completely run out of juice and then um, you can't really use them to light anymore. So maybe one of these days I'll combine this with my uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Rancor, uh, you know, Rancor Beer Flight or Tooth Flight series. I'll put some different drinks in there and I'll toss in uh, these guys to use and then I'll do a little recording of myself drinking. Because um, that's pretty cool and uh, it's perfect, right? There's a four red, green, purple, black, four poison apple skulls for the four um, Rancor teeth uh, cups on the Rancor tooth holder. So that's something maybe for a, a different video. But yeah, I really, really love these. Um, they never get old and I hope they're not limited. I hope that anybody has a chance to go and get what they need. It's pretty crazy. Um, $18 will get you this set of four, uh, as well as, of course, the alcoholic drink itself, the actual martini or um, apple tini, excuse me. And, you know, some of this stuff is being, you know, scalped and sold on uh, eBay for, I think, over $100, which is just uh, bananas. Uh, and I think it's going to, it can go up as high as $150 or $175. It kind of reminds you that, you know, not all people are able to just on a whim. Uh, drive to Disneyland and go in and do shopping and eat and stuff. I mean, for a lot of people, you know, Disneyland is a major uh, vacation destination, and so they do not have the opportunity to get park exclusive merchandise. Which, you know, there's a lot of Disney fans out there, and so um, we are lucky that we're able to have access actually to Disneyland with an annual pass as conveniently and as easily as uh, we take sometimes for granted. So. Uh, don't pay a hundred dollars for this. Okay, these are cheap plastic toys that are cool, but you know, don't be the victim of scalping. Uh, so I, I don't think that this is um, limited edition at all. Uh, over time, they may eventually phase out the older colors and introduce newer ones. Uh, for instance, you know, again, the green apple for the uh, poison apple teeny obviously was switched out for the black one for this year. So that may still happen. Um, I'm gonna enjoy you know collecting these and maybe even using them. And um, I just think they're really, really neat. So that's one of the things I really wanted to get. And so when I went there to Disneyland today, uh, I did go and bag one. Um, 
I was tempted to get another set, but you know, common sense prevailed a little bit. I think I have enough of these. You know, that's the sort of thinking, guys, that led me to this disaster. I don't really want to walk down those steps again. Although uh, a whole bunch of these guys would be pretty cool. Like, can you imagine if you're like entertaining and you plop one of these guys into each of the drinks? I mean, uh, I think that would be a pretty amazing party, especially if it's a, like a Halloween themed party. But you have to get a lot of these and they're not cheap. I mean, they only come with pretty expensive drinks. Okay, at Disneyland proper. So I hope you enjoyed it, derived a little bit of amusement uh, at my expense for what I've been doing. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna put this in a safe place. I think maybe one of these days I will do a video with uh, like actually using everything. We're gonna do a video using the Rancor beer flight uh, tray with a rank with a porcelain Rancor teeth as the cups. And then I'm gonna use these poison apple um, ice cubes to demonstrate how cool it is to drink with this, all of this put together. Um, so until next time, I hope you enjoyed this and do take care.